nine weird heists. First one. The thieves who made off with several thousands of dollars worth of cheese eckies, and lots of it, was stolen from a truck parking lot in Oak Creek, Wisconsin, and by lots of it, we mean 20,000 pounds, $46,000 worth. In June 2016, police received a call regarding the theft and have been actively looking for the white semi with no distinct markings on it since. No word as to whether or not they were able to catch the culprit, but this isn't the first time there's been a large-scale cheese heist in the area. Six months earlier, $70,000 worth of cheese stolen in Germantown was later recovered in Milwaukee and sent to a landfill. And a week before that, $90,000 worth of Parmesan was stolen in Marshfield. That's 41,000 pounds. The second one, the millions of dollars of maple syrup stolen from the OPEC of the maple syrup world. Is it the greatest maple syrup robbery, or one of the greatest robberies overall? In 2013, 6 million pounds of syrup, worth 18 million dollars, was stolen from the Global Strategic Maple Syrup Reserve, a cache managed by the Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup Producers. The Federation is a legal cartel, which oversees about 75% of the world maple syrup supply, maintaining large reserves to control global syrup prices. Quebecois farmers need the approval of the Federation to produce syrup to sell on the wholesale market. As a result, a black market for syrup is thriving, and that's likely what led some sticky-fingered thieves to siphon the Federation's supply. How did they do it, you ask? The crafty criminals rented space in the syrup warehouse, and over the course of a year, stealthily siphoned the gooey goods while the guards were gone. Thirty arrests were made in relation to the heist, and two-thirds of the stolen syrup was eventually recovered. The rest disappeared into the marketplace. The third one, the employees who stole thousands of pounds worth of chicken wings, Chicken wings are a hot item on the black market and have been stolen in large quantities on more than one occasion. In 2015, a father and son, Paul Royek, 56, and Joshua Royek, 33, both of Syracuse, stole more than $40,000 worth of wings from a New York restaurant where they worked and sold them on the street or to other businesses. Both men were employed as cooks and they placed numerous wing orders with the restaurant's wholesaler. Officials say the Royex would later pick up the orders and resell them at a reduced price. Two years earlier, Ronaldo Jackson and Dwayne Patterson, of Gwinnett County, Georgia, stole $65,000 in frozen Tyson chicken wings from Nordic Cold Storage, where they worked. One five-pound bag of frozen chicken wings sells for about $12.50. If you do the math, that's about 26,000 pounds of wings. Maybe they were hosting a pretty big Super Bowl bash. The fourth one, the men who posed as fish care company employees to steal koi koi fish are highly prized in certain circles. It's rumored that collectors will drop as much as $25,000 on one championship fish and pit their prized specimen against others at competitions. Even low and koi, like those you'd see at a pet store, cost about $6 for each. So it's not much of stretch that someone would want to make a buck or two on the colorful carp. 
sometime between June 8th to 16th, 2016. Two men stole about 400 koi from the pond at an office park in Herndon, Virginia outside of Washington, D.C. The men claimed to be from a fish care company and were there to check on the health of the koi and got away those that they deemed unhealthy. Instead, they pulled off the heist in broad daylight under the gaze of security guards and office workers who enjoyed watching the fish swim around during their lunch breaks. The total Herndon haul is worth at least $20,000. However, the fish are a hard sell on the black market. Specialist Betty Weedman said, Koi have unique features and paterning and are often recognized. Therefore, it is most likely that either the koi are stolen by pond donors who do not have the financial means to buy these rather expensive fish, or koi are specifically ordered, probably from abroad. Fifth one, the organized crime leader who ended up with a truckload of Nutella to be fair, if we were to commit the ultimate heist. Nutella is on our list right behind cash and jewels. However, this hole may very well have been an accident. Toronto tycoon and organized crime member Bill King of Car Thieves de Hallowall was involved in an intricate scheme involving stolen cars, drugs, and kidnapping. The majority of the stolen cars were expensive, Lamborghinis. Maseratis, Porsches, BMWs, and Lexuses were among the 60 vehicles recovered by police. Also recovered were e-cigarettes, alcohol, crates of beer and a truckload of Nutella valued at $30,000. No word as to if they knew what they were getting, but the ever-enterprising criminal sold the jars of gooey delicious hazelnut spread for 50 cents a pop. Nutty, huh?